We're hours before kickoff here at the Florida Georgia game, but the tailgate's already started. The world's biggest cocktail party is here in Jacksonville. Here's our inside look of what's happening on the sideline. Right behind me, you see this monitor right here? Teams in Alachua County are able to give quick adjustments on the field of play immediately right after plays are over. They Today has been absolutely phenomenal for some young athletes around the country. Signing day just finished up here about an hour ago at Ocala Vanguard, and it's being called one of the best recruiting classes from Marion County in history. There's a lot to look forward to for this Florida Gator team, but there's also a lot of improvement needed for Coach Jim McWayne before their big showdown against Michigan opening weekend. Orlando City's next MLS game is on Saturday, where they'll have pre-match ceremonies honoring the victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting, their families, and first responders. Orlando City and Real Salt Lake kick off tonight's MLS action on ESPN at 9.30. It'll be a late night for us on the East Coast. Eight of the biggest hitters in baseball were shining bright in Miami last night, dropping absolute moonshots. The Home Run Derby is my favorite event during All-Star Week and Aaron Judge made home runs look so easy that maybe I could do it. Oh, absolutely. The athletic department feels that they got their guy, the right guy. Dan Mullen arrived in Gainesville this afternoon. He wasted no time showing his love for the university. When he was getting off the plane today, the first thing he did, check this out, a huge gator chomp. You gotta like that. While preparing for a rivalry matchup in any sport, the last thing you want getting in your way are distractions. Well, distractions for the Florida Gator football team are practically everywhere you look. And today, the first major strike occurred with Louisville basketball coach Rick Pitino being placed on unpaid administrative leave. Bottom of the third, we go with one man on and one of the greatest defensive plays of the game. Shortstop Dalton Guthrie running, 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 and diving into the dirt. Absolutely covered from head to toe, and he gets right back up. Tremendous effort, great catch. But then in the top of the fourth inning, a very similar situation happened. The same exact area of the field, and an argument could be made here that you might want to drop this foul ball because the runner on third, here he goes. He's tagging and will score. Dalton Guthrie makes a great defensive play and then scores in the next inning. I'm going to be in this league for a long time. Somebody going to lose a job, they pass on me, so I ain't going to be mad at it. Despite his confidence, today wasn't all good news for Florida corner Jalen Tabor. The Gator Pro Day is the last time Tabor is scheduled to work out in front of NFL scouts before the draft. Tabor received criticism at the NFL Combine for running a 4-7 in the 40-yard dash. While at today's Pro Day, Tabor didn't capitalize on his opportunity to improve, registering only a 4-7-3. Coach McElwain says that his 40 time won't be a factor in a team's decision to draft him. He plays on film and puts on film that, that the speed is not an issue. And, and I think that's, that's exactly what a lot of these guys have talked about. One Gator who truly improved in the eyes of scouts was linebacker Jared Davis. After a nagging injury, Davis sat out of the NFL Combine, but today there were no signs of slowing a pace from Davis, recording a 4-5 in the 40. There's a good chance that after today's performance, Davis could be the first linebacker to come off of the draft boards. It's the fastest 40 I've ever ran in my life, so you know, I, for it to come up today is Even when you were training, you weren't running that yeah, fast? Yeah, I definitely wasn't running that fast. I, I, Last season saw two Florida Gators draft in the first round. What will be the story this year? Today at Pro Day was a chance to improve some stock for these athletes. With three weeks remaining until the draft, all these players will be meeting with their coaches, meeting with potential NFL teams, and of course training ahead of their big day. For WFT Sports in the indoor practice facility at the University of Florida, I'm Josh LaSelva.